So, things you're gonna need for this, obviously. At least five quarts of motor oil. You're going to need an oil filter that corresponds to your car. Um, different makes of Subarus will have different oil filters. Mine is just on the edge of when they changed which filter you use in 2003. So if you have a 2003, it's very difficult for you to figure out which one you need. Um, just consult your local auto technician to find out which one you need. If not, it should be very easy because it's either built before a certain time in 2003 or after a certain time in 2003. You're also going to need some sort of funnel to get your oil into your car. I prefer to have work gloves. These have grips on the fingers. They just help everything and keep your hands clean, um, help you grip on the things. Pick this up for $10. There's a hundred in here. So they've lasted me now for three months. Definitely, this is the best thing for you to have. Obviously, you're gonna need towels, clean up after yourself. You're gonna need at least a 12 inch ratchet, three quarter inch drive. And since you're on a Subaru, you're gonna use all metrics. So you need a 17 millimeter bolt to undo the bolt on the oil pan. And then lastly, this is optional, but this makes the job way easier. Sort of uh, a vice grip that has the ability to hang on to the oil filter. It'll save your day if you want to change it on the fly and your car's not, you can't pull it off with your hand. These help a lot, especially if it's very, very tight and you have grease in your hands. The most important thing that you're gonna need is some sort of oil cache device. Um, you can catch it in buckets if you want, but the best is to have some sort of thing that you can then pump out. I have this one right here, you can pump it out with this hose here, and it catches it up on the top here. Um, this is the most efficient, but just know the smaller the bucket you have, the more likely they are to spill oil all over the place. Nobody likes that. Oil is going to be hot, so you want to be careful when you're doing this. And I don't bother catching the bolt, I just let it fall once it's done unscrewing. Now we wait for the little to drain. Alright, so the bolt's still hot, so I'm going to use the paper towel again. I'm going to plug this up here because I got all the oil out. And after I got it hand tight, I am going to wipe off all the excess oil around the outside where the bolt goes and then retighten with the 17 millimeter socket. So now we have all the oil drained, so the next thing we're going to do is remove the oil filter and replace that. So this thing can sometimes be screwed on really tightly. Um, I've managed to loosen it a bit. Um, be careful with the exhaust manifold right here because it is, it is very hot, especially when you're driving. So do not burn yourself. All right, so this thing is hot and full of oil. I'm pouring that all out now. Put this right here. Now we're gonna put on our new oil filter. So the filter that I'm gonna be using is a M1108 high efficiency, high capacity, mobile one oil filter. So before you put this on, you wanna take a little bit of oil and just coat the inside here so that it uh, goes on nicely. I'm just gonna put a little bit on here, a little bit on the rubber here. Now we are ready to stick this guy back on. Right, so now we're gonna put this Right on here, lock on the threads, and just very carefully screw her on. And I only put it on hand tightness because you don't want to put a wrench on this when you put on a new one. Because that's exactly how I got a new engine because they decided to wrench it 
and to put a hole in it. So you do not want to be putting a hole in this thing. You do not want to leak oil that way. It's the worst way to go. So now, after my greasy hands are done putting this thing on, we are going to go and put the oil in up top. So now, we have our cap and we are going to put in our Mobile One High Mileage 5W30 engine oil. We have five quarts here. This car typically takes 4.8 quarts, so we'll put just under the full amount in here. To check your dipstick, just just a precaution to make sure that you have the right oil level. So you wipe it off first. Stick her in.